Hello, my name's Janet and today I'll be looking at the new concept stainless steel bench peg. Um, most of you will be familiar with the traditional wooden jeweller's bench peg, which has been around for a few hundred years. Um, as they're used, each of these becomes unique to each jeweller, depending on what techniques they're using. You can cut grooves in or shape it to any way that um, you find useful to perform the tasks that you need to do. Um, so it's quite interesting to have a completely new uh, think on the bench peg. Um, it's, done, uh, it's made by New Concepts who um, have developed the um, lightweight aluminium piercing saw. Um, I actually haven't got one to show you, uh, but I do know beginners who've used them and found them a lot easier, and also experienced jewellers who um, find it really cuts their work time down. So um, let's take a look at the new concept stainless steel bench peg. Okay, first things, the um, stainless bench peg has um, traditional dovetail fittings, so if you have a, a bench with, with the mounts ready that can go straight on. Um, I don't so I have the new concepts um, bench clamp and anvil. Um, it's a nice nice sturdy piece of kit which fits really easily onto my bench. However there's quite a lot of thought gone into this um, so that it can the clamp can fit onto virtually any table or desk even ones with lips that usually make it very hard for um, clamps to fit onto. Um, these two pieces the red bit and the black bit can be taken apart um, with allen keys and then refitted so this um, this gap can become quite a bit wider um, and also the, the screw clamp can be positioned in a couple of different um, back or front so that again it'd be easier to fit onto um, say a table with a little ledge underneath so they, they've really put quite a bit of thought into that. It just fits on nice and smoothly. Right, the clamps all nicely in position. Um, just to say that there is a little rule along the top, 10 centimetre or 100 millimetre rule, um, and a nice smooth stainless steel anvil for hammering. And here's the stainless bench peg. At the moment it's got all the fittings on that it came with. Um, you can take these off, they come undone with simple thumb screws which are really easy to adjust. So I'll just pop that into place. See that goes on really nice and smoothly. Through some of the main features of this stainless um, bench peg. Um, the first obviously is that it's, it's metal and very rigid um, compared to a wooden bench peg. Um, the idea be behind this is that you've got a nice um, firm platform to work on. Um, there's no large V that's often cut into wooden pegs. Um, again, the thinking behind this is that when you're piercing, you're tight into the work, and again, that should give you a lot more control over, um, over your work. There's also this brass um, bar called a brass angle fence, which is really useful for when you're working to angles. So for instance, here it's fixed at 90 degrees. So you can see that if you're piercing straight, that really gives you um, a good uh, rest um, to lean against and um, get your angle straight. Um, it's also useful if you want to file edges at um, the correct angle. So again at 90 degrees, if I want to get the edge of this nice and tight, just press against there. You end up with a nice straight angle. The reason, by the way, I'm filing down um, is um, a method actually I've used for a little while because I find you're working with gravity and there's less chance of friction pulling your work up. Um, but it does work particularly well on this stainless um, peg. 
Uh, this bar also moves to other angles up to 45 um, just by um, moving the thumb screw like that. So again, if you're filing at different angles, that's really useful. Another feature is this Delrin ring hook, um, which holds rings really steadily for uh, when you want to cut them for resizing. The um, blade of the saw fits into a little groove there and it's really easy to line up and keep your work nice and straight. So you get nice straight edges to work with. Um, it also work well with large jump rings. Um, it um, moves around to wherever is convenient for you and also the whole thing can come off and fit onto the other side if you're left-handed um, because the fittings are mirrored. Um, also this um, is, is plastic or quite hard plastic and it's replaceable. And finally um, there's these two rods which form the flexi shaft guide for your pendant um, drill. Um, they provide a guide to rest against so you can get a nice even drilling. Um, unfortunately I don't have the, the right hand piece for this. Um, uh, it's, it's more of a standard one that comes with your pendant motor. Um, but I could see I could see this would be really useful not only for drilling but for lining up um, wax and milling. Um, I, they're originally designed to go at the front of the peg like so because when they're both on um, there's more clearance at the front here um, but I think it was decided that you'd have to keep taking them off to do most of your work um, so they were um, allocated to the back um, obviously I don't have the right um, uh, flexi shaft but I could see these being really useful for leaning work against. I'm really looking forward to using this. I think it's going to be really good for precision work and improving uh, my accurate uh, piercing. Um, I wasn't sure whether I was ready to get rid of my wooden bench peg, uh, although I have found actually that uh, even piercing smaller detailed work is actually steadier on this. Um, I think the wooden peg's handy still for sort of holding um, ring holders against it. The nice thing is that this just slots off when you don't need it, um, so you can just use your, your, your traditional peg. Um, and also this uh, clamp will accept um, other tools that have the dovetail, so I think it's going to be really useful.